Okay, um, let's start then. Uh, welcome and hello everyone uh, to today's coffee lecture. Uh, we will be taking um, a short trip into Zotero, the reference management system. Um, and because we only have 10 minutes, um, I will jump right away. So let's see. Um, the first thing we should know is that um, ETH Library has um, a license um, to Zotero um, Institution, which means that you have um, a lot more um, online space to um, save your um, PDFs of the of the references um, you want to manage um, in Zotero. So uh, make sure that um, you use your ETH mail address when you register for Zotero. And if you already got an account, um, just add your ETH um, email um, address so that you can uh, you can make use of uh, the addi additional uh, space you've got there. Then. We'll just jump in right away. Um, this one. So on this screen, uh, we'll see um, the online um, version of Sotero, uh, which is basically more or less the same as the desktop version, but with um, a few coeds. So I would um, really recommend to use the desktop version, which looks like this. Um, right now you see my library, um, there's nothing private in here, um, and it's already populated. So let's just make a quick tour uh, of the, um, uh, of the user interface. Um, in the middle, um, there are my references. Um, this is the whole list I've got here. Um, and you can organize these in so-called, um, uh, collections. Uh, which look like folders here on the left-hand side, but they're not really folders because every time I put um, a reference into a folder, it makes a duplicate. Um, so this is um, really, as the name says, collections. So if I want to um, select a few of my references and um, uh, for a certain um, project or maybe uh, to a certain field, I can do that. But in the end, the references are always um, in my library as basic. On the right hand side, I see the metadata of the reference I just selected. Um, well, this is pretty self um, explainable. Um, and on the left hand side, I also got um, some tags. Uh, I can use tags um, I make myself. Um, and in some cases, um, Zotero imports um, tags also from uh, the source of the reference. So how do we get the references into Zotero? And there are multiple um, things I can try. Um, I can just drag and drop a PDF here and um, chances are if it's uh, from a well-known journal, uh, Zotero will get the metadata automatically from the paper. Um, but most of the time, um, it's safer to use one of the other options. The second one is here. Um, I can use this stick here and just enter an ISBN if it's book, um, a DOI, um, if it's um, journal paper, or also um, PubMed IDs, archive IDs, et cetera, uh, so that the system will um, look for the paper or for um, the reference um, in the database. And the third one uh, is use um, a browser plugin, uh, which I was uh, I will demonstrate. This is the best way to populate um, your um, your library, because um, the chances are that um, the metadata will be um, correct like this. Um, so let's demonstrate uh, this real quick. I have um, the plugin installed here. It's called Zotero Connector. And depending on the site I'm, um, I'm at, uh, the icon changes um, and it presents me with the document type uh, of this resource. So in this case, um, so Tiro sees that I'm on, on, on Springer link. Um, I have um, a scientific paper here and I can choose to save it into one of uh, my collections. Um, the collection that is open in Zotero, and maybe I should add that Zotero desktop has to run in uh, somehow in the background for this to work. 
um, is uh, the collection I have just opened. Um, this already happened. I don't have to um, click any um, any differently. Um, let's change back to Zotero, and you see um, in my coffee lecture uh, collection, the reference is here, and if I open it, uh, the full text is here as well. Let's do that with a second paper as well, um, so that we see um, I have an archive paper here, and I can just do the same. Um, save it to the coffee lecture collection. In this case, oh, I see. Um, I probably already saved this one and forget to to delete it again. Um, let's see. Just well, it isn't. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see if it worked now. If not, then we just choose another one. Uh, it doesn't really matter for here. And so this time it should have worked. Yes, and there's a second paper as well. Again, with the full text and with um, all comments, um, uh, the archive entry has got here. So this is really the best way to get it. Um, it also works um, outside of the publisher uh, or the database. Um, for example, in the library um, catalogs also, so I can just use this here. This is a book in this case, and I can um, do this also in Web of Science or in PubMed, um, et cetera. Um, I should say that if I do this um, maybe in PubMed, the full text will not uh, be automatically downloaded. For this, I have to be on the on the page of uh, of the publisher. Okay, um, and lastly, what um, Zotiria also can do is um, help me use this um, references as citations in my paper. Um, for this, there is a plugin. Um, for Word in this case, but you, there are also many plugins also for um, for LaTeX editors, so you can use them as well. In this case, I will just demonstrate this real quick how this works. Um, I add a citation. In this case, I see. Let's make it a bit um, more nicely. Um, I will change. Uh, the citation style so that you can see what I'm doing here. So as soon as I click add citation, um, this field comes up and I can um, start um, looking for the paper. Um, it doesn't matter which one I take here. I didn't change. Um, and why didn't it? So you can see I am. I'm using API here. Now that worked. And let's um, make a second one just um, so that I can demonstrate how to how to use the references I used in the text to add a, bibli a bibliography as well, um, which Satira will um, automatically um, do the right way for the citation style. Yep, so this is uh, basically um, the three most important things you can do with Satira. So um, use them for um, um, sorting and managing your um, references. You can... Um, put references from very um, different um, sources uh, to your library and also, of course, use those references in your paper you're writing.